Hi everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're gonna go see how to set up a Duckbox camera system that is completely wireless, which means there's no wires attached back to our homes. We're gonna use a battery pack like this and a solar panel, right, like this one right here, to get sustainable power. And we're gonna use wireless, a wireless network bridge to connect our network and expand it over to near the duck box camera. So when we say like it's completely wirelessly, doesn't mean there's like totally no cables or wires are involved. It just means that there is like a total gap where there's no wires included from our network base and our duck box camera system. So basically with the network bridge and this battery pack plus the solar panel, we can achieve this. So now we're gonna have to take a look at how we set up the camera and what we have to do over there in that area, which means it's in the wild. This is for those who have like a little pond or river or lake near their house and they want to set up like a camera and the duck box for those ducks around there to let them hatch eggs, watch the little ducklings. If you have one of, are in one of those situations, this is a perfect video for you. The first step, of course, is let the network expand to net near the lake pond or wherever our duck box camera system is going to be. So we're going to use one of these, a pair of these. This is, these are called network bridges. This wireless network bridge is really interesting. Uh, we will talk about it in more details in the next movie, but this one we're gonna, just going to know that we have to set one as a master device and one as the slave device. So once we set these two in the correct modes, the master device is where we place it at home. Once we place it at home, we use a 12 volts direct current adapter and then use an ethernet cable, connect it to it, and then it will receive power and data and start transmitting wireless signals. As you can see here, everything is, the indicators are on. This means this will be transmitting wireless signals and this one, we will use it as a receiver. This will receive the wireless signals and then transmit it to our other devices. So everybody take a look at everything I have here. This is basically what we need outdoors when we're gonna set up the camera system. So first let's talk about the network. Once we receive one of, uh, we have the master device to, of the wireless network bridge set up, we're gonna need this one as a slave device. So this one, all we need to do is provide the power for it. Oh, so power is a very crucial problem. Thank God we have this battery pack right here. This battery pack can have enough battery for letting on one of these mini bird, bird feeder cameras, outdoor cameras for about four or five days. And after that, what we're gonna do? Some people will just say, let's change the battery. But if we have a solar panel like this, we don't have to do that much work. We can simply connect it to with one of these cables and allow the solar energy to transmit into electric energy and help us charge the battery and provide power to our camera and the wireless network bridge. All we need is one of these regulators to regulate the power whenever they want it to be stored in the battery or whenever it's gonna be sending it to our network bridge and our camera. So the solar panel on one side, we're gonna to have to We are going to have to connect it with this regulator. Once this is connected, our solar panels, solar energy will be converted to the electric energy to this regulator right here. And to, for the battery pack, for people who don't really know how to use one of these mo mobile battery packs, there are only two outlets for power. So this is the positive pole and the negative pole. These are the only ways the power can get in and get out. So we have to get these clamps from this cable clamped on the corresponding color. So the red clamps goes to the positive red pole and the black clamp goes to the negative black pole. So once these disconnect, the solar energy will be power charging this battery pack whenever this, the battery pack is low. And when this is full into the safe voltage, it will be providing power to the camera and to this wireless network bridge. And here is we have a 12 volts DC adapter splitter. So these are all 12 volts, so it's okay to connect it to any of these. So one to the camera and one 
for the wireless network bridge. And you can see that the network bridges, the indicators are on. This means the network bridge is currently working. So now we can see that our home or our home's networks has been transmitting wireless signals from the master to the slave. And now the slave wireless network bridge will provide wireless signals for our mini camera right here. And the camera will be able to watch whatever is happening around the duck box. And for the camera, no need to say 1080p high definition resolution, infrared, which is night vision, adjustable lenses, built in audio, wide angle lenses, recording features, so many useful features. And the most important, it's waterproof. So when we set it either inside or outside the duck box, it won't be, we won't have to worry about water damaging the camera. So basically when we set up a camera system like this, it can last for a very long time outdoors. And once we have the solar panel set up, it can stay, be recharging our battery whenever it's going low. So it's basically a, like a sustainable camera system. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.